Hello friends, this is Christopher Gonda from Pure Green Audio. Welcome to another episode of My Hand is Cold. My guest today, Buzz uh, Osborne from the Mevlins. Melvins. Mevlins. Mevlins. Get it right. Sorry. It's your show. You my, even you even read it off the card wrong. My my mom. Mevlins. Does my notes. She does my notes. <laughs> how how are you related to Buzz Aldrin? Well, you know, I met him. It was a gay marriage thing. Mm. Um, actually, you know, it's, it's the American space program. How's the Canadian space bro- program coming? Do the Canadian we, space program. How's that coming? Do we have one? I don't know. You tell me. I I don't know. I don't know either. Gay marriage. You got? Are you guys are you guys in full support of gay marriage? Who, me? Yeah, yeah. It's your I, show. I like gay marriage. You're into it? Mm-hmm. I think it's fine, but you know one thing they haven't thought of? Gay marriage. Haven't these people suffered enough? Now you're going to make them get married? Because mm. <laughs> marriage is terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've read that you're a fan of uh, baseball. Somewhat, yeah. Why, why are you a fan of such a boring sport? Uh, well, you know, it, it, it's not a clock sport, and um, it's for, you know, more intelligent type of people. That's probably why. Generally why uh, people like baseball, the people that have a little more intelligence like it. I, I don't like it. Maybe. I, don't, I just met you, so I can't make that judgment. But if you don't like it and you think it's mm. boring, this maybe is... it's because you're stupid. The ninth song on your new album is called War Pussy. Why, why are you so angry at vaginas? Uh, could be about that. It could also be about somebody who doesn't want to go to war. Oh. Could be. So there's all, there's multiple... In- Maybe. I thought there was just one interpretation. Well, I hadn't really thought about it. No. Maybe you're right. So you- well, Why do we hate vaginas? Well, that goes back to the gay marriage thing and the penis thing. See, it all connects. Check Wikipedia. Actually, I think that's a porn site, so be careful with that. I have two more questions. That okay. That's, yeah, fine with me. You it's your show. It's your show. You can ask as many or as few as you'd like. Thank you. Absolutely. I know. I believe in artistic freedom. Have you met Justin Trudeau? I don't even know who it is. He's the leader of our country. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I've never met him. He's my cousin. Really? Then what are you doing in this leaky punk rock basement? Artistic freedom. <laughs> I suppose. Yeah. Look how look look how far it's brought you. It brought me down. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna check. Is this. that him calling? No, I just made to make sure it's not important. Is it? Are you on medication? Not is yet. What it is? <laughs> you will be by the end of this interview. Nothing's kicking in. Are you sure? No. I'm not good. even a little? You're not, not on anything even a little? Come on, just a little? Not yet. You didn't take anything earlier? No. I have to I have to do work still. What do you gotta do? An interview. What do you work? At an interview place. <laughs> they pay you to do that? I I run the company. <laughs> so you don't get paid? No. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> kind of like music industry. Huh. Uh Ipecac makes me puke. Mm-hmm. Does it make you puke? Generally, you know. You're releasing your album on Ipecac Records mm-hmm. or re- recordings. A, a record label that makes you vomit. Will you hold my hair while I listen to your album? You don't have any hair. <laughs> if it grows out, I will. I can try that. I wasn't very nice. You asked. You would be a mean. Where do you get your hair done? It's a hair don't. <laughs> Think I can go to the same place? <laughs> sure. Just let it do whatever it wants. You have, you, if you let it go, it, it, it'll actually grow. You don't have to cut it. Nobody's forcing you to cut it. I know. I just, I'm so conscious. But... Why? Do you have a straight job? No. It's not, you don't have to do that. You can do whatever you want. Do you have a, do you have a regular job? Yes. Where, where do you work? I don't work anywhere right now. You don't, well, where would you like to work? That would force you to have to shave your head. Where would you work? Can I pick anything? Well, it, 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 you have a haircut like that in order to do something that would probably f- find you employment, I'm assuming. And, and so what sort of employment are you trying to find with a shaved head? Amusement park. Is it ra- a racist type of thing? Because skinheads are racist. I'm not racist. But I'm you want to look like a racist. No. So? 
I'm trying to not look like a skinhead who are racist, so I'm an anti-racist haircut. Sure. See? I'm not a racist. You look like a racist. So I'm assuming that you're looking for a job that includes racism. Is that true? I haven't, I haven't thought that deeply about it yet. Well, you know, when you're walking down the street, people are going to look at it. Like if I was an employer looking to hire somebody and you walked in, the first thing I think is gay racist. That's the first thing I think. Okay, so, and I appreciate this. Yeah. You're saying grow out hair. I walk in, the first thing they don't, the first thing they don't think is gay racist. Right. You know, what that's not the first thing they think. They might think psychopathic weirdo, but not gay racist. That's better. It's like Maybe, I don't know, but they're not going to think gay racist. We'll have to ask our fans or viewers. Yeah, I don't know. Psychopathic weirdo is not gay racist. It's different. For better or worse, I'm not saying one's better than the other, but it's not the same. Thank you for your time today. Thank you. Buzz Armstrong. Thank you, yeah. Thank you for watching another episode of My Hand is Cold. See you again.